next episode, we continue exploring Karajini National Park and we show you one of our favourite waterholes in all of Australia, Kermit's Pool. Well, that was epic. We're back at the car, doing a bit of a refresh, quick little snack, and then we're out of here. We're off to Oxa Lookout next, and Kermit's, and then Hancock's, I think, after that. I've decided I'm leaving my wetsuit and my yep. wet shoes on, and I'm going to do the whole rest of the day in this because I think Kermit's is another place where you've got to hike through water and then swim. It absolutely is. So, so yeah. I'm not putting a wet wetsuit on. <laughs> Wet wetsuit. Have you ever, has anyone ever tried putting a wet wetsuit on, by the way? I'm never, ever, ever, ever doing that again. You literally roll around on the ground just trying to get the thing on. So, uh, let's keep going, hey? Oxa Lookout. It's a uh, class three, 280 meters return, 15 minutes. That's simple, mate. Don't know if we can handle this one. How's a sexy attire again, hey? Look at that. Can you do this bit of a well, Pretty sexy. All right, keep going. <laughs> It's pretty, you can hear running water way down there, so I think there must be waterfalls something down there, hey? Or Maybe, you can see water over there, yeah. over there, and then you can... You can hear it you if you hear. listen quietly. No, we can't, there's people there talking, so... <laughs> Let's go to the next spot. Okay. Hey, next stop is Kermit's. This has been on my bucket list for years, hey, old Kermit's. Um, I'm just excited to get there. You don't really know much about it, do I've you? I've never heard of it until we got here. All I know is that it's cold and it's wet. See, Merriam's just a good looking one in this team. I do all the research and I know all the cool places. So, but, I just um, know where we're going when we get there. Let's go home, mate. You had a bit of a blowout, did you? No, I've just got a rock in my shoe. Well, I'll so. tell you what, those shoes um, match your, uh, your outfit. It's just like um, high heels, eh, with a dress. Right. Rock shoes with a wetsuit. Shoes with a wetsuit. <laughs> Looking pretty fancy there, mate, I tell ya. <laughs> I don't know what my feet are going to be like at the end of this, but anyway. Can you see out my shorts? Yes. <laughs> Good looking, eh? You were just in really cold water, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you nearly stacked it then, didn't you? No, I did not. That's normal. So this is where the running water's coming from. The sound that we had. Oxa Lookout was up there and around the corner a little bit more. And the creek that we're running along now is um, the sound that we heard up there. Well, what are you going to do now? Ooh. Here we go. This is where the water starts, eh? So this is where people that don't have wetsuits and these Look at this. Ooh. clearly disrobe. <laughs> yeah. Well. I've got another rock of a shoe. Let's go. Oh gosh, okay. Here we go. Shoes and socks off. Oh, what? socks off and shoes back on, hey? Yep. That's good thinking. Thinking yep. about what you're going to do later. What do you mean later? As in, no wet socks. Yeah. You wee. You're going in the deep end. come in handy. This is a bad part. This is a bad, bad thing. Uh, okay. Is my bag wet? Yep, drenched. Hello. Absolutely drenched. Still wet? It just dry. I want the I'm going up here. Puts in it? You really put your foot in it this time, didn't you? Yeah, I put my whole body in it. It's okay, I can just tighten the straps. I can't 
can't. They're already all the way tightened. What was in your bag? My towel. So it's okay. Oh. It's just my towel and my snacks. Look at that. Um, I don't Stunning. Thank you, Mani. Can you take my bag? You can't, can you? No, I can't. Okay. I'm going to keep going. I'm, I'm just going to see how you go, huh? Well, it's just deep and I'm short, so my back's is getting wet. <laughs> That's my only problem. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Bag. Beg to differ. I think you got a lot more problems. <laughs> I'm trying to film you. Oh. Uh -oh. You don't have fun with me. You just go. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. My bag's really wet now. Yep. Oh, this is a problem. It's <laughs> really trying to think what's in my bag. How wet is it? I can't yeah, really. It's very wet. Oh, you know what? Embrace it. Roll with it, right? Yeah, there you go. That's the spirit. Okay. Okay. So this is my path that I've taken. So Ooh. This path would have been great if my bag, if I was taller. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Woo wee! It's getting a little easier now. Up toppy, look at that. See? <laughs> look at old Mim down there. Hey. How you going there, Mim? I'm good. <laughs> Tell you what, how easy is it filming with an action camera? Yeah. We well, haven't seen too much action yet though from Mim. Come on, let's see some action, hey? Oh, it's very deep and I can't get out now. Oh, yes, I can. Look at old Mim down there. Uh -huh. I'm good. My backpack is dripping. Oops. Are oh, you back up on the ridge now? Yeah. Show me your bag. Oh, yeah, she's a little wet. Huh? <laughs> it floated along behind me. It did floor. float. That was a good thing. I'm really hoping the only thing in there is my towel and my snack. Where's your phone? You were game, you had your phone and everything. I wasn't gonna put my phone in my bag in case my bag got wet. Good now? Yeah. Sounds like there's a few people here. I can, I can do this now. <laughs> So how's your towel? She's a bit wet, hey? I'm putting it on the clothesline. <laughs> Look how stunning this is, guys. Look at that. I know the uh, action camera doesn't do it much justice, but wowzers. Better than no camera. Top or bottom? Whatever way you want to go. You choose. Oh, it's bottom. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be... Oh yeah, look. Slippery? Yeah. Oh, the water's beautiful. Look at this! This is like to go a water slide. Slide right down your butt. Go. Not very good. Whoop! <laughs> Even with your little butt, you're wedged. <laughs> yeah, I think you can stand up now, mate. <laughs> Come on, in you go. Get him out! 
Did you say cannonball? Yeah, did I do one? Probably not really. <laughs> oh, 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 o
There goes your bag again. Oh, 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 there goes your bag. I don't care about my bag. My bag's already wet. Okay, I can kind of, kind of touch here. Oh, I might stack it again here. Look at this. I'll film you. Nah, I'm not going to stack it. Watch. My That's bag is... That Christopher has taken. Woo! Here you go, I got it, mate. See? <laughs> this is but the, I didn't stack it. I, I take the path less travel. <laughs> oh, I've got to go up again. I've got to go up that now. Yeah. No, you don't, babe. Look, the blue dots are down here. Yeah, but I can't walk down. Yeah, oh, yeah. Too, you went up there and Oh, I went up too far. Oh, right, I'm going to put this away. Bye. <laughs> oh. You going to join me in the drink? Nope. <laughs> Why not? Definitely not. Right, this way. I can hear the water running out of my back. <laughs> yeah, it's running out, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I did it. Yeah, good on you. There you go. I came out unscathed. <laughs> Technically, I did too. Just <laughs> I'm trying to film when we stack it, but I don't stack it. <laughs> <laughs> you love staying wet, don't you? I'm making the most of this. My wetsuit on for a reason. <laughs> Oops. Oh no. There goes the splits. Hang on. Hang on. Give me your hand. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> so you're supposed to follow these things, but old mate over here, nah. <laughs> it's just. Hauling through the water. See, so you're supposed to follow these little ledges here. That's boring. See where I'm going here? Look at this. And you know what? The sun's actually reflecting on the water now, so I can't. This way, you can see. This way, I can't see. Yeah, and then I can see everything from up here. It's stunning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually. Are you gonna come up now? I might end up going down before I come up, but that's... see now I can hold on here. Now I can do both. Okay. All right, let's can keep. Can you see that? Yep. The red? Yep. And stunning. the blue? Yeah, it's stunning. And there's that nice view again. Hey, go down there! If you do a squat, you'll be able to drip on me. <laughs> I actually need to pee. Oh, get out! <laughs> Easier going up than down. Day two of our Karajini experience is happening mate we got up nice and early this morning and believe me it was fresh how cold was it i think it was like six degrees oh, you guys are looking we're looking a little bright here so just be really ah that's a bit better yep it was freezing this morning wasn't it it's only getting colder but that's okay because we are here to hike and getting colder it's getting warmer you mean no, the sun's coming colder. up no i mean over the next week oh it's getting down to like four and three overnight oh jeepers I last night. but it's all right when we get out of here out of the dales overflow we can actually have a campfire a couple of free cams but um yep this morning we are at jeffrey jeffrey gorge um i think we got jeffrey gorge today then we got Knox as well we're Knox. gonna do jeffrey and then on the itinerary that um caitlin did for us it was jeffrey this morning then lunch at the eco resort well, and then bright, um yeah, Knox better. this afternoon but yep. we're going to do jeffrey and then Knox and then head off and field an episode with of 10 questions with some people that are in tom price so we're going to try and squeeze today's adventures into one hit and then i don't know if we're going to do lunch at the eco don't know Center. we don't Work know it yeah, anyway, just flying by the seat of our pants. But this is Jeffrey. There are three different walks you can do here. One takes 20 minutes, one takes an hour and a half. One that we are doing, I do believe, heads to the waterfall and takes about two hours. And they may or may not be crossing water. We don't know. So we've got to pack our wet shoes just in case. No, right, let's go. We're going to do the Joffrey Lookout, 240 metres, class three, 20 minutes. We'll do Joffrey Lookout, this one first, and we're going to come back and run all the way down onto the class four, which is the yellow. Run to here. Then we're going to go potentially that well, yeah we'll do that one then we'll come back and then we'll do the blue which is a class five so and then it'll take us back around to our car park somewhere and it has like a totally different vibe this is the place here yesterday was sort of more about um, I don't know it was exciting it was um, 
sort of brand tick. It was it was just lots of fun. This spot here, first thing in the morning, has just it's got like a ah, sort of feeling. It's silent. It's just stunning. It's beautiful, and it's like one of these times where you just just sit on the edge of the cliff life like I am right now and just soak all this in. I don't know, it just makes you think about life in general, hey, like this seems like a <laughs> real emotional sort of time, but I don't know, it's just, it's just sometimes you get these sort of feelings in these places, it just takes your breath away, and this is one of them, I don't know. Um, maybe leave a comment below, do you guys sometimes just come to a beautiful place and just sit there and soak it in, and um, yeah, just that big, ha, ah, sort of moment, mate. This is one of them right now. It's this place is stunning. I'm going to spin the camera around so you can check this place out. That's Chris <laughs> down there. Um, he goes places that I don't go, so I'm up here following. Glass floor. And I have seen down the bottom there, people walking around down there. So I'm guessing we're gonna go around and down. I've been sitting on this uh, edge long enough. I think I better um, catch up with Miriam, eh, before she gets lost or I get lost. <laughs> Oop, I think I've gone the wrong way. I've got to come back up this way. I don't even know where I've gone. Uh, I've just gone off the beaten track to find somewhere beautiful and um, freaking nailed it. So anyway, let's um, keep going, eh? We got Gotta climb up these rocks here. I've actually been waiting for Chris for so long. So I'm actually gonna continue this hike by myself. And um, here's a camera, I'm a camera, so I guess we'll compare our footage and I'll just mash it together at the end. A hot tip for these places too. Obviously we're in peak season, we're at the sort of end of June here. Um, if you can do these walks, mate, get to them like super early in the morning. Um, it's just, I think it's a lot more enjoyable. It's just so many people around and, and it's just, that silence is just beautiful. Rightio, Joffrey waterfall we've got, then we've got Joffrey view, and then we've got the um, Karajini Eco Retreat. Now I think you can camp there, I'm not actually sure, but um, do you know if we can camp there? Mm, I don't know. No. She doesn't know. I caught up with her too, by the way. So, anyway, let's keep going, hey? Here we go. I'll have to spin the camera out for this to see what I'm looking at right here. Ooh. So I think Chris is going straight down to the waterfall, but I am going to do the quick little 190 meters up to the view. Jaffrey view. This is the lookout. You've come to join me at the lookout. Yep. So right over there, 530 meters, is the eco retreat. And you walk along here and we have the lookout. It's pretty this way and that way. You can see our car parked over there on the hill. Look who I just found on this walk, eh? <laughs> Look who I just found. Some hot chick, mate. I'm just... Yeah. Asked if she wants to come and camp with me and she said yes, so we're good, hey? How's the vibe of this place? Do you think it's just beautiful? I was just trying to explain to them at how this has given me just a totally different vibe as opposed to yesterday. Yesterday was more exciting and fun. And yesterday was wetsuits and water yeah. and swimming and hiking for long, whereas this is a bit more um, kind of open and vast. Well, to me, it's more about how serene and beautiful. Yeah, how beautiful it is and the, and the whole like ah, sort of moment where you stop in life and actually soak in some things. Because yeah. doing this all the time and filming everything, it's... it's We don't get a lot of no, sit we, there and soak it in moments. But it's like rush, rush, rush film. But Yeah, we don't really get a lot of time to soak it in. So when we do, I mean, I think we appreciate it more and it really sinks in just that little bit more. Yeah. Um, on a holiday, I think it's a little different. You know, you get to appreciate these these places, and, and you know, it's, yeah, it's it's a tough one, hey, to to explain. I was trying to explain it to you guys and the feelings that we have. It, it's 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 difficult, though. It's um, yeah, it's not a holiday for us. It is a job for us, but we do like to to enjoy it as well. Yeah, so it's a bit of a balancing act. Yeah, and some mornings you just get up and you go, you know what? We don't want to film, but but we feel we have to film because we want to share it with you guys the experience. And at the same time, we want to let you guys know our feelings, our emotions as well. And this, this is this is the this is one of these experiences where we just want to go. Oh, this is beautiful. It's it's stunning, and and um, 
yeah, we want to share it with you. So hopefully you guys have the same feelings when you guys get here and you must get here. So, so I'm not looking at the camera very much because the terrain in front of us requires negotiation. Mm. And for a Gumby like me, eyes down. All right, let's get down to the bottom, mate. Hey? At the bottom of Joffrey, there's a few st uh, steep staircases to get down, so. So I've got that hot, sexy chick that I uh, picked up up the top there. She's coming with us down the stairs, hey? Just tag you on. Yeah, I'll let you go first, hey, so you can show us how it's done. <laughs> what do you reckon? That's not what I'm good at. <laughs> There's no sign saying to turn around and head down backwards, but I'm remembering the rules from yesterday. <laughs> so. I can see up your shorts again. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Are you filming me filming you again? Yeah. I'll ask the question again, eh? Which is better, the GoPro or the DJI Osmo? 100% the Osmo. 100% this thing. Um, yeah, little hot tip if you're thinking about buying a GoPro, don't. These DJI Osmos, Action Osmos, run rings over the GoPro. So. I think the number one thing is they aren't glitchy. Sorry, GoPro. I've always been a GoPro lover, but since I've discovered these, 10,000 times better. It the only every difference, time. yeah, these, the GoPros are glitchy. We're going fully off subject here, but the GoPros are glitchy, where these things do not glitch at all. They're instant when you press record from when it's turned off. Only one downside. Now, DJI, I hope you're listening to this. Burst mode, mate. Put burst mode in it for burst mode for photos, and I'll be happiest man on this planet. Yeah, no batteries have swollen. It's not. No frozen. batteries have swollen. We've they never last had to a lot pull longer. a battery out to turn it off when yeah. the whole camera is frozen. Yeah. It connects to the phone every single time. The old GoPro reset, you know, the hatch and the pull the battery out, put it back in. We literally, what we've had problems with the five, the sevens, yeah. the nines, all of them. Anyway, yeah. enough of that. This Let's is, keep going. This is the. Um, I'm gonna go backwards. <laughs> well, that totally set a different vibe, then, did it? Okay, we all know I'm a bit special. Follow the ledge all the way along. Yep. Each step, make sure your foot is planted before you take your next step. Nice and easy. Got it? All right, come on. You did it. Let's go. I'm glad you made me climb across that wall. It's pretty. Uh, this place is stunning. What do you reckon? Look I think at that. it's stunning and I think we might stay here forever so I don't have to climb across the wall to get back. Yeah, we've just got to find a way to get our caravan and car down here. Yeah. And I think we might just camp here. It's freaking beautiful. It's um, really nice. I can only imagine how stunning that would be flowing. if there was a heap more rain and just flowing a little bit more and a little bit deeper. You can see the lines all the way around. It looks like it's about another foot or two deeper that it can get. And I would say that's when the water is running, but mate, this place is stunning. Are we going to do a little spin around? Oh gosh, okay. Are you ready? Check this out. 
Ooh, I'm going to put it down a bit so you can see up a little bit. Look at that. One of us is going to go in the tree. No. It'll be me. Ooh, it's faster, 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 faster. Ooh, dizzy, dizzy moment, oh, dizzy moment. I'm too old for that. All right, are we ready? Okay. Let's get out of here, this place. Tick. Amazing. Amazing. Hand, give me hand. So we're going the opposite way on the gorge now and there's no real path here so we've got to sort of just make our own trail. I don't want to do that. Huh? Why not? It's easy. I don't jump over big drop-offs. Why not? There you go, it's easy. See? Alright, oh, keep going that way. Do you want me to go first? Way higher than it should be. Do you want me to go first or you'll be right? Well, Alright, you go. Now we've got to fly across the little section. Are you going to do it? I don't know. Come on, mate. <gasps> Might go up this way, hey? <laughs> Hee hoo! Look at this place. Oh. What? So here I am waiting for Miriam the whole time and she's actually still over at that um, little launch that I did. <laughs> she's too scared to do it. Alright, I better go help her, hey? Check. Straight over there. Here, give oh, me. Can I go down that way? I don't know, can you? <laughs> no, there's a tree there, no? What do you mean? Down there? Step, step, step along here. Okay, I can't see that. Hey. Oh, that's sliding. You did it, mate. You did it. Well done, mate. Let's keep going. Is that what? What was I trying to Follow do? this. Where was I before? Follow this trail up here. You gotta come up here. You was going the easier way, didn't I? Always. Because. Walk along that way, okay. all the way to the end. It is stunning. Oh. Am I sure it's red? No. Now have a look at this view at the end. Whoa, that's really pretty. How beautiful is that? Oh, the sun's just gone. Keep going. Look at that. I don't a little bit more. splash before. Go a bit more. All the way to that end there where the spider web is and stand there. And have a look at how you could jump off there easily in summer. All right, I'm gonna come past you, how is it? <laughs> you come past me, I'm just gonna fly past the mushroom. Look at that. Photo time from here, you reckon? You're giving me anxiety. So uh, let's throw a photo in, hey? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Is this not breathtaking or what? It's literally taken my breath away. I'm trying to it's taken it. It's taken my breath away for the beauty of it all and, the, and just how amazing this country is. But it's taken Miriam's breath away because she's actually crapping herself on the edge. I'm not sure footed. My, my mind is telling me one trip, one stumble and you've fallen down. Like, Yeah, but the I, upside of that is you're going to fall straight into the water. No, I would hit my head on the way down first. <laughs> anyway, our minds do different things and I wish I could change mine, but I can't. But that's okay. Oh, thank you for being born in the most beautiful country on this planet. Like, seriously, this place is Are you stunning. thanking me for that? No, I'm I just thanking anyone. Welcome. Oh, thank mum and dad, maybe, actually. Thanks, Cyril and Chantel. you bloody legends, mate. Thanks for moving from Mauritius and coming to Australia. <laughs> you. I've got a new nickname for you. Shorefoot. Is that like calling a redhead bluey? Yeah. Do they call redheads blueies? I have got a nickname for you. What? Fart bum. Thanks for going in front of me to show me the way and fart in my face. Much appreciated. You know me. I do know you and I should have known I'm you. always out to look after you, honey. You are going to show me the way. But, uh, next stop, Box Gorge. We come for you.
audio, that time of the video again. You guys have interrupted my mountain bike ride, but it's all right. I'll forgive you. Yeah. And how rude you guys talking about my haircut badly. I actually don't think there was anyone bad. I think it was all positive. So I'm actually happy with that, eh? Yeah. What's there not to love, mate? Look at this head. Positive this comments noggin. about Baldy over here. Yeah. I don't even need a helmet anymore, mate. Looks like I've got a helmet on, though. <laughs> Alrighty, our first aid competition. Yes, what are we doing here? Yeah, so you guys have probably cottoned on to what's Pretty going on much, here because yeah. at the end of every video we do the same thing. And that is we very excitedly announce the winner of this week's $50 voucher to survival first aid. So awesome. yeah. to win, all you have to do is leave a comment on the video about your favorite part of the video. Once a week we give away a $50 voucher, once a month we give away a $250 outdoor bundle. Cracker prize, cracker prize, Crack all prize. for just leaving a comment. What you enjoyed most about it? Yeah, we love the feedback. It's a win-win situation because we get to know what you love and you get to win something. Hey, Absolutely, and a big thanks to Survival First Aid as well for yeah. partnering with us. With this huge, competition. huge thank you. Yes. So, all right. winner, winner for this week. Without any further ado, we would like to announce this week's fifty-dollar voucher winner, and that is Peter Wilson, six four three three. Congratulations, Peter. And Peter's comment is this: <clears throat> Thank you for taking me on this walking journey. Karajini National Park looks incredible. It is it incredible. It sure is, yeah. <laughs> I very much enjoy watching your camera work as you take me on your journeys. I have cerebral palsy, oh. so would yeah. Yeah. Um, so would not be able to complete many of the walks you do, including into Kermit's Pool. <laughs> that's an interesting That's a, it's an interesting that's walk. That's an interesting though, walk for the for best people, of us. <laughs> even like me. Oh. Um, your great great cover work makes it seem like I am right there with you both oh, well. with a couple of smiley faces. Thank you Peter. That means a lot mate. It it really does. It it sort of touches our hearts these these sort of comments. It's really nice. So. Yeah, it's really good to hear because we yeah. actually when we were doing Karajini, we did come across quite a few people that were definitely not able to yeah. do a lot of the the hikes right down and into some of the places and they just were able to walk around and have a look from the lookouts on top, which was really yeah. nice. Yeah. But to know that we can bring you um, or take you to the places that you aren't able to go to is really special to us. Absolutely. It, it brings joy to us. 100% it does. It yeah. does. So thank you again to everyone for watching. Um, thank you to everyone for your yeah. comments too, because once again, yeah. there were heaps of really amazing comments. Yeah. And that was just a snippet of Karajini. We got a whole lot we more We got a few up. more episodes of that, so make sure you stay tuned. What are people supposed to do? Let's see if your cotton's on. Oh, just, you got to subscribe, mate. Come on. We would love for you guys, please subscribe. Um, please leave a comment, smash that like bell, the like bell, the like, <laughs> kick, the, the no, thumbs up, the, the notification and the bell, bell. the notification bell. Um, there's too much to do. Thank you for all the support yet again. It means so much to us and um, it yeah. keeps us going, mate. It really does. It does. So. And by subscribing, you actually help us more than you might think. We've actually yeah. had a look and about 64% of our viewers are not subscribed to our channel. Yeah. So if you are able to subscribe, we would appreciate it greatly. And thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Yep. Congratulations to everyone. See ya.